Hey, everybody, welcome to Pep Talk, the podcast where you get the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help us, God, where we take all these complex medical conversations and things that you're hearing on social media, and we bring the truth to light, and we make it real simple, and we do the best we can to give you action steps that you can take right now to improve the health and quality of your life and the life of your loved ones. I'm your host, Dr. Eric Naputi. I'm going to be taking you down today's crazy journey. We're going to do another conversation on pep peptides today. Peptides, primarily C-Max and C-Link. I get a lot of questions about these. I use these peptides in my own body. I use them in my practices. I recommend them for lots of folks to take orally and in a nasal formula. So we're going to talk about all those things. Guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, make sure that you have all the social media platforms that that uh, Pep Talk is on. And our website is peptalk.world. That's peptalk.world. Share with your friends and family. So Let's talk about peptides. You guys know peptides. You've heard me talk about them before. Peptides are nothing more than proteins broken down into amino acids, and those amino acids come together in the body in a sequence, in a chain, if you will, and that chain could be as small as two different amino acids or as big as 200 different amino acid compounds in there. It's really, truly limitless, the amount of peptides that could be in the human body. We really don't know. But what we do know is that certain sequences of peptides, which are amino acids, when they get put into the body, into the cells, it's almost like a code going into the cells telling the cells to do certain things. Some of the peptides I want to discuss today are two of my favorite peptides, C-Max and C-Link. And I want to talk about different types of, of um, administrative uh, uh, ways to get those in your body. But let me ask you this. Are you like a lot of other people that, you know, your get up and go got up and went. You're having trouble keeping up with a lot of the things in your life. You're forgetting a lot of things and your brain fog is high and you're, you know, forgetting to call friends or forgetting that you have appointments those days. If you're battling with that that's going on, that is common, not normal, but common signs of neurological decline in the body. It's not a senior moment. It's your brain not working like it's supposed to. And you can choose to what people refer to as age gracefully, or you can do some things about it. And there are many things that you can do from a lifestyle standpoint, from a peptide standpoint, from a nutraceutical standpoint to protect your brain. And if you do those things and start implementing that now, the results are going to be pretty impactful on you today and massively in the future. And if now studies and scientists are telling us that we're going to be living to 120, 130, and some are even saying 200 years of life, that's awesome. But if one out of every nine people on the planet are showing signs of cognitive decline, don't you think we should be doing some things to protect our brain here and now? I mean, the World Health Organization reports that 280 million people worldwide are being affected by depression alone. What if there were simple things that you could do by changing the bacteria of your gut, and changing the way that your cells are signaled in your body and understanding how to live and eat for your genetic profile that could help get to the root cause of all those symptoms. Well, I'm here to tell you that there are. There absolutely are. So let's talk a little bit about some of these peptides, C-Link and C-Max. So C-Link and C-Max are uh, what are known as bioprotective compounds. They have been developed to help people optimize their cognitive health and improve relief from things like stress and anxiety, which, by the way, the world we live in right now, there's so much more stress and so much more anxiety than there ever has been. Researchers and scientists tell us if we took our great grandparents and dropped them into society today, within three days, they'd have a, a, a panic attack and a nervous breakdown because of all the busyness of life and how society is set up today. It's crazy. In, in 2009, the Russian Federation of Ministry of Health approved the peptide C-Link and C-Max for human consumption. C-Max and C-Link are also... <clears throat> excuse me, generally recognized as safe across the globe. However, the distribution and delivery system of those peptides are a little bit unique. Whenever you take a peptide by mouth, it's considered a supplement. If you take a peptide and you snort it up your nose or you inject it into your skin, that's now considered a drug. There now are delivery systems through the use of phytomicro-encapsulization, through the use of phospholipid nanotechnology, through the use of crystallization technology, that we can now take peptides orally and get the same, if not better, levels of absorption than you can from an injection. By the way, C-Link um, has been available for a long time as a nootropic, and the same with C-Max. They're considered nootropics. Nootropics are compounds that stimulate the firing of the brain. Have you ever heard of the phrase, 
that person's bright or that person's dull. Do you know where that conversation came from? Back in the 80s and 90s, when we started doing brain scans, we would look at brains under the, the, the screen and, and they would light up. And if the brain lit up with bright colors of reds and blues and greens and yellows and oranges, that would tell us certain things. But if the brain didn't light up and the colors were kind of gray and dark and dull, the bright person is a brain that's firing. A dull person is a brain that's not firing like it's supposed to. Nootropics have been clinically proven, including C-Max and C-Link, and we've done this in our own clinical practices where we do heart rate variability scans or brain scans and then put someone on a nootropic and then measure their brain activity again. We see changes happen relatively quickly with that. These uh, these peptides were, were developed in the 1980s um, and, and, and have been used for cognitive enhancement and neuroprotective usages ever since the 80s. Um, let's talk about, about how C-Max and C-Link work. So C-Max is derived from adrenal corticotropic hormone, ACTH. It's known as uh, a cognitive enhancement uh, 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 compound. It works by boosting brain-derived neurotropic factor. That's BDNF. By the way, in the neuroscience world, when we talk about BDNF um, stimulation and, and, and boosting that, that's the holy grail for getting rid of brain fog. And the research is showing that's the key to help mitigate and try to prevent things like neurocognitive declines, osteo problems, neurodegenerative declines, and things like um, Alzheimer's, dementia, Parkinson's, and et cetera. It's important to understand that. The researchers have found that using CMAX increases BDNF levels by 1.4 times and doubles the expression of certain chemical compound genes in the body to keep the brain protective. CMAX is used um, uh, if you want to improve your memory, concentration, problem-solving skills. C-Link has been used, on the other hand, to impact neurotransmitter uh, systems in the body, particularly like serotonin, which is the neurotransmitter for happiness and satisfaction. Um, these peptides both work by binding to GABA and opioid receptors in the brain. That's why when we have patients that use these, uh, these um, uh, peptides, not only can it help them cognitively function better, but we see a lot of their pain levels go down as well. There's a brain component to pain that's not often talked about that can't be fixed with drugs uh, that can be helped with neuroprotective uh, uh, compounds like C-Link and C-Max. Uh, C-Link also promotes uh, BDNF production, improving memory and concentration. Either case, these nootropic peptides provide promising results and really look at improving brain health and emotional well-being. C-Max and C-Link um, are uh, peptides for pain management, which we already discussed, and it can also increase uh, the levels of energy in the body. C-Link versus C-Max benefits. They're, they're similar, but they're a little different. Uh, by the way, I take C-Link and C-Max every day. Uh, it's in a formula that I take. Um, it's, it's in a formula that I take every day with some other peptides to help my brain and body function like it's supposed to. Um, in a study by scientists, um, patients with pre-existing anxiety disorders treated with C-Link experience fewer anxiety symptoms. That's a powerful deal. So it's got a, a very powerful um, a psychostimulant effect. Other studies uh, improving patients with uh, phobias and anxieties, um, somatovisceral disorders, whenever they, they, you know, they have a, a, an emotion that manifests as a, as a physical pain in their body. C-Link has experienced reduction in those anxiety levels and lasting for weeks and weeks of overall improvement by just one dose. That's what some of the studies have shown. In a study published in Neuroscience and Behavior Physiology, uh, C-Link had um, experienced improvement in memory and learning abilities in humans. Um, according to the Journal of, of Bulletin, uh, sorry, in According to the Journal of Bulletin of Experimental Biology and Medicine, C-Link stabilizes certain levels in the brain to help reduce stress and anxiety uh, and improves uh, cognitive and learning capabilities. And some of these things have, have been able to show improvement with just four, within 14 days of, of use. And it can also increase interleukin-6 uh, in the body, which is an inflammatory protein that deals with bacteria, pathogens, infections, and microorganisms. As a functional medicine doctor, I measure interleukin-6 on a lot of people, and if I find that low, we do everything in our power to raise that up. It's a very powerful immune uh, modulator in the system. Believe it or not, uh, C-Link can also help improve the symptoms of alcohol withdrawal and other drug withdrawals. 
Um, a study that was published uh, in the Bulletin of Experimental Biology and Medicine, researchers discovered that sea lank can help improve anxiety levels associated with withdrawals. Uh, of narcotics and of alcohol. That's a powerful deal because I have a lot of patients that come to see us and they want to get off some of their medications they're on. And a lot of people become dependent on their drugs and even alcohol um, and other uh, self-prescribed uh, chemical compounds, if you will. This can help with the withdrawal processes. Um, also, research shows that c um has antioxidant properties that improves liver function. It's a big deal. We find a lot of liver dysfunction on people that have chronic inflammation, uh, that have anxiety, depression, insomnia, uh, a lot of uh, chronic inflammatory conditions, blood sugar issues, and et cetera. Anything we can do to help with the oxidative stress of the liver is powerful, uh, and C-Link has shown to improve that uh, on multiple studies. Uh, C-Max, by the way, improves brain uh, function and brain network function. So we can see the brain start to fire and wire in different uh, precedents. You know, you know that uh, that movie, I think the movie's called Limitless. It's a Bradley Cooper movie, and, and they take this uh, this drug, I think it's called NZT or NZT, something like that, but it's the Limitless drug, right? Well, many people have said that, hey, that's what C-Max and C-Link really can do in the brain. I don't 100% agree it's the same way as that medication is on that, uh, on that um, show, but it works pretty damn similar. I've seen brains of people start to rewire and refire, especially people that have, like, you know, diabetes and blood sugar issues are very problematic. You know, you have type one diabetes, which means the pancreas isn't working like it's supposed to. That's an autoimmune issue. And research shows that some of the causes of that is early exposure to cow's milk and certain pathogens and vaccines can contribute to that at birth. Type two diabetes is overconsumption of carbohydrates, the inability to process fats like you're supposed to, and not being able to shut down the compounds in our body that allow us to feel full. It's a processing issue. Usually there's an MTHFR gene imbalance. They can't methylate and they're allergic to gluten. Certain carbs are like, you know, cancers are, are like kryptonite to them. But anyway, um, uh, C-Max has been shown to improve the function of those things. And if we can get the brain to fire and rewire like it's supposed to, um, that is really, really, really a powerful deal. And the benefits of C-Max to rewire the brain is huge because type 2 diabetes can turn into type 3. Type 3 diabetes is known as early onset Alzheimer's. So we see people's brain scans that have blood sugar issues and their brains aren't firing because they don't have the right amount of blood flow to it. And, and, and it's not wiring like it's supposed to. So because of some of these peptides and their ability to cause a, a blood flow to increase and neuro pathways to rewire, that's pretty powerful. And C-Max and C-Link are in that category. Most nootropics are. Okay, most nootropics are. Another study published in the Journal of um, Ankavism. Uh, and analog medicine in Russia uh, shows C-Max helps treat memory disorders um, uh, and elevates blood supply to the brain. So just like I was discussing with the blood sugar issues. Um, C-Max is also known for its neuroprotective properties, different types of, of damage and, and degeneration that happens in the brain. It, it reduces oxidative stress in, uh, that causes damage and death to brain cells. So that's a real powerful compound uh, of, of that. C-Max may also assist in the recovery process following post-traumatic brain injuries. Many of you guys know that I've done a lot of work over the years um, with concussions, primarily with American football and uh, soccer globally. Uh, those are two main sports that there's a lot of problems in. Soccer actually has more concussions than American football does, uh, but the American football concussions seem to be more pronounced. Anyway, uh, utilizing these uh, peptides have become a real huge advocate for uh, individuals that uh, have had post-traumatic uh, concussions and TBIs, which can happen from a car accident. I mean, do you know the research shows that by the time you're nine years old, you've had dozens of brain injuries and concussions? It's not always the the car accident that that you can't remember anything after or the, you know, the tackle playing football in the field that you black out for a little bit. It's the little bitty things that build up over time that really cause problems. And C-Max and C-Link seem to be beneficial for that. Apart from the cognitive benefits, C-Max has anti-anxiety and antidepressant effects as well. Uh, C-Max has shown anti-anxiety and antidepressant effects after 14 days of treatment because of the BDNF expression in the hippocampus uh, and what it does with uh, serotonin in the body. C-Max can also help improve heart function and reduces the risk of heart failure and heart attacks. Again, that's what more data is showing. 
Uh, so there's a lot of health benefits to this. People may not know this, but C-Max can also increase the quality and uh, movement of immune cells in the body, uh, as well as upregulate the expression of genes in your DNA that regulate the immune function. There's over two dozen genes that have been identified that C-Max can help stimulate in a study uh, by the uh, Bulletin of Experimental Biology and Medicine, CMAX has been shown to help treat stress-induced immune imbalances. Um, so like, you know, when people worry themselves sick, that's what we're talking about. When you worry yourself sick, cortisol levels go up, other inflammatory markers go up, our body's cognitive function goes down, and it's problematic. CMAX and CMAX's neuroprotective uh, properties has helped with that. Um, all right, here's a study, 187 people who had cerebral vascular insufficiency, a condition where the arteries in the brain are blocked, reducing blood flow. Um, when they were treated with CMAX, CMAX slowed disease progression and slowed the risk of having a stroke. There's so many benefits to this. So let's talk about the side effects then. Just like a lot of biohackers have found this, you know, too much of a good thing is a bad thing, right? So people who have tried CMAX, some people can experience headaches, uh, because they take too much of it. I'm a big fan of microdosing it. I use micrograms instead of milligrams. And that totally allows for your body to adjust to it and not have these problems. Um, let's see, uh, some of the other, um, some people can feel some anxiousness or kind of nauseousness. Take it with food if that's the case. Or try a lower dose, right? Try it with food, without food. Try, just play around with it, see what's best for you. Um, some people have a little anxiousness, some people have what we call a honeymoon phase where um, over time it can become less potent. So you take a little bit more or you stay on it for six weeks and you're off it for a week and then cycle back on and off. I mean, it's just there's so many things that you can do. There's no one size fits all for everybody. But but most people don't notice side effects. Um, now, if you're using the nasal application or the injection because you're doing a higher dose at that point, that's typically when we see people that have more side effects. When you're doing the oral consumption of it, it's typically less uh, uh, of a side effect because it's a, a lower amount over a longer period of time. Um, and we find that doing that every day, at least in my uh, experience, gives a better uh, result for that. So CMAX versus C-Link, very beneficial, very minimum side effects. Um, it's something that I think everybody should have the opportunity to try. Uh, I use C-Link and C-Max every day with a slew of other peptides. I primarily do oral uh, consumption of peptides. There are a couple that I inject still to this day, but I'm like you, I don't like needles. I try to get away from those and, and use the, the, the simpler, easier application. So folks, I'm going to encourage you to go back, watch this uh, podcast, go back and share with your friends and family members. People need to know the truth about health. They also need to know things like knowledge, but they need to be able to apply those things to their life. So take this knowledge, apply it to your life, get some wisdom. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share our program. Go to our website, peptalk.world. That's peptalk.world. And folks, until we meet again, I'm Dr. Eric Naputi. God bless you. God bless America. And God bless the world. Stay smart out there, folks. And I'll see you next time. Be well.